In this video I'll show you how to connect your HP LaserJet MFP M234S DW printer to your Mac computer. And I'll also show you how to print using Wi-Fi and how to scan. So let's get started. First thing, we need to make sure that this printer is in Wi-Fi pairing mode. And to know that, you need to check on the control panel here. If the control panel, nothing is on the screen, press the I button. Usually this will wake it up if the printer is turned on. Then what we need to do is to check over here. You see, that's a Wi-Fi icon. If it's not blinking, it means that it's not in pairing mode and we need to put it in pairing mode. How do you do this? Very easy. Keep press this I button during three seconds. One, two, three. Then next step is to press this Wi-Fi button at the same time as this X button once like that. Now we just have to wait about a minute. The printer will do its thing. You see it's loading here. It will turn off, turn on. And then at the end, the Wi-Fi icon will blink. Well, now it's blinking, but it's not done yet. So we'll be back in about a minute. It takes about 45 seconds anyway. All right, so now we are back and you see the Wi-Fi logo is blinking. Let's go to the next step. On your MacBook, we need to download the HP Smart App if you don't have it already. So go over here in the App Store, open the App Store, press continue, not now. In the search, you're gonna type HP Smart. This is the app we need to make everything work. HP Smart Desktop. So go ahead, download it and open it. Once the app is open, click Accept All. You will need to sign in into your HP account. You absolutely need an HP account, which is free, by the way, to make. It takes about 40 seconds to make one. And uh, yeah, you absolutely need it if you want to print and scan using the Wi-Fi. Unfortunately, this is a trade-off, but that's how it works. You can go and, and press Set Up New Printer if you don't want to sign it right now and this is what I'll do but at, at the end they will ask you to do it anyway so anyway I have pressed there now we're gonna select new printer then it will search for your HP printer if nothing is appearing after a minute don't worry just press printer not listed and then select Wi-Fi then continue continue press ok and then your printer will appear I don't know why you have to do this but that's how HP is working so click on your printer and now it's time to uh, type the Wi-Fi password of your Wi-Fi network the one that your Mac is currently connected to next step is to wait until they ask us to press the I button so go ahead press I and the setup will continue on your Mac screen. If, if after two minutes the screen didn't change, it's still stuck at getting information, don't worry, just close down and open the app again. Your printer will be added, it's just a bug. Again, it's HP, I don't expect much from them, honestly. Anyway, so the printer is added, you can see the ink level on the top here, and if you want to print, you simply need to go down below, select print documents. They'll ask you to sign in into your HP account, as I just told you. If not, nothing is possible. Then over here, you need to select the file you want to print that is located on your Mac computer. So I'll select a file, press open. Down below over here, you have print preview. Click on this. Then click on the arrow here. Make sure all these settings are appropriate for your project and press the print button, finally. Wait a few seconds. And here we go. You have now just printed using your Mac computer. Now let me show you how to scan. So press done here, whatever this means. 
and down below you're gonna notice you're gonna have a printer scan click on printer scan now it will scan a preview we don't have we didn't input anything so don't worry the printer has two scanners one on the top this is an automatic document feeder if you have multiple pages you want to scan automatically and then you have a normal scanner right over here I'll show you how both of these are working let's start with this one place your page facing down with the top part on the left side and then make sure that this corner over here is aligned with the printer corner just push the paper like that close the lid and right over here make sure that scanner your laser jet is selected then source select scanner glass and over here well it will really depend on what kind of document you're scanning so you can also just leave it like this press scan and the scan will begin you're gonna have a preview there perfect you'll be able to edit the scan to write over the scan to extract the text to rotate the scan if it's not what you want what you want and at the end on the top corner over here you're gonna have the option to save it on your computer to share it or to print now the top document feeder works the same way this only difference is well let let's open it put your pages facing up like I just did with the top part on the left side so here I have one page but you can put multiples let's add two more pages like this come back here let's go back exit scan I'll press printer scan again and this time under source select document feeder and again change these settings depending what you want I'll select here 75 dpi because this is only text and press scan when you do this you don't need to touch anything because the printer will take one by one each pages Be patient and then at the end don't forget to press the save button share button or print button so this is it I hope this was useful if so please leave a like subscribe leave a comment and I'll see you in the next video